I'm on. Hey, you're on. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Um, so this is a kind of a broader question, and I know you might have touched on this in some of your uh, Rules for Life um, episodes, but one of, one of the things I find, and, and I wonder if other objectivists find this, is that in many ways, yes, objectivism is really good for us and, you know, to, to lead a happy life. However, I find that there are times where, because I know what I know, that I'm more frustrated about things and people who are kind of blissful in ignorance. <laughs> and uh, I'll give it, uh, you know, like it's it, the, the case has come up for me personally, I mean, many times, but, you know, most recently because I need a medical procedure that in our beautiful Canadian system, I'm going to wait months for. And, you know, just the whole hassle of getting it and how much, you know, difficulty and time and effort is wasted. And just knowing that in a free market that this would be probably solved already. Right. Yep. And yep. probably at much less cost and almost certainly a much less cost to me too, than what this is going to end up being if I take taxes and everything into account. Yeah. So is there, you know, like how, how does one avoid that a little bit to say like, I, you know, and I, and I actually would extrapolate this to so many problems that we have in the world that, and I think you've even said this, that most of the solutions are actually not that hard. Yep. Right. And, yep. and the frustration that this creates of like, oh man, you know, like why do we put up with this crap when it's actually not that hard to solve? Like how does, how does one get around uh -huh. You know, I, I don't think there's a way directly to get around it. Yeah. The reality is that knowledge knowledge brings with it uh, both the positive and, you know, short-term, if you will, negatives. Now, I'd rather know that there are other options uh, and be frustrated by, the, by my inability to access them than not know there are other options and just be mindlessly following kind of what is happening around us. Right. But I think the frustration is inevitable. The frustration, and it's real, right? Yeah. It's it's not made up. It's not. Um, it's it's a frustration that that is a consequence of human bad human decisions out there, and that's super frustrating. It's not the same as if an earthquake happens or a hurricane happens. Yeah, and it's like you know there really isn't anything anybody can do about this. No, these things something somebody can do something about. And it's quite possible we could do something about hurricanes too. But uh, you know, put that aside. Um, in a, in a rational world, you know, one wonders if we wouldn't be shifting the hurricanes away from population. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, yes, I, I, I think that's part of the downside of living in the world in which we live today. Is is but I think that the knowledge, the benefits of that knowledge, followed way the the negatives uh, uh you know for example you might say you know this procedure is important enough that i am going to get on a plane or i'm going to drive to the mayo clinic and and given the u.s system they're probably better faster and there are ways in which yeah. i can get around this right um uh, so and and whereas an average Canadian might just be, well, this is the way the system is. I'll just stand in line and wait. Right. And and you might take the initiative and think, okay, there's a better system out there, more, uh, somewhat better. I can jump the line. I can go and take advantage of that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but the frustration about these things, th there's just no way around it. I mean, somebody once asked me, I think, uh, you know, what's the most frustrating thing about, running the Institute at the time or whatever. And I said, the, the most frustrating thing in the world is knowing you can fi fix all the world's problems and yet nobody's listening. <laughs> it's okay. frustrating. All right. Well, I guess, I you guess know, we, can be, we can be, we can share the frustrations and that'll be our solace in this. <laughs> you know, and, and sometimes when I get angry on the show, I get, so, yeah. you know, it's that, right. It's a, uh, you know, what's going on in Israel was avoidable. What's going, all these things, people are dying. Yeah. Hundreds, thousands of people are dying for no reason. It's just infuriating. Yeah. Okay. So, thanks. Uh, yeah. And there's no way, there's no way around that other than to know that overall your knowledge is benefiting you, even though it, it, the world, the world in many respects, in important respects sucks and yeah. it just does. Yeah. Yeah. I, I completely agree on that. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I have friends and, you know, many relatives and stuff, you know, I can, I can see how ignorant they are about how things could be better. Yeah. And I don't want to be like that. Um, but, 
you know, sometimes I'm a little bit envious of their Yeah, they bliss. ignorance is bliss, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. so, you know, so great. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Jerome. Yeah, luckily in the U.S., I mean, it's everything's expensive in the U.S., but healthcare, usually when you need a procedure, you can get it yeah. on a timetable. So yeah. I, I need something done on my shoulder. It's basically, you know, it's it's whenever I'm free and my surgeon's free and we get it done, it, It's there's no... The insurance company, I think, approved it within less than twenty-four hours. So, wow. uh, it was it was it, it, that was easy to do. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's such a sacred cow here that that ain't changing anytime soon. Like it's. Just, I know. I know. Yeah. I so, lived in Israel with socialized medicine, and you know, so I, I, but I, I I was really sick. I was young, but my father was a doctor. Yeah. And and the reality is that when uh, one of his patients was really sick, and uh, they had money they'd get on a plane and fly to the U S I right. mean, and my dad would help them do what they needed to do to get into the best place in the U S and get treated. Right. Um, and that will potentially all go away. <laughs> yeah. Is the, your own frustration, the one little bit of freedom we have, you know, yeah. is, is, is under threat, real threat. Uh, yeah. All right, Steve. Thank you. Thanks. I'm, I'm like,